Hello, good people of YouTube. Sea Lord here, and today, hot on the heels of yesterday's video where we got some excellent news about some changes to mini uh, commander skill that needed some buff, and finally some, again, changes that were needed to address things like CVs and the situation with battleships being, well, uh, melted down so fast nowadays. We have, well, one of the reasons from Monday's Top 5 video. And if you didn't catch Monday's Top 5 videos, the Top 5 Reasons Why the Game is Dying According to the Community. And reason number 3 was uh, aggressive monetization. And lo and behold, today in the Armory we have another very much money hungry event going on. I don't know if it's technically an event because it doesn't have its own section in the armory tab, but what's happened today is the much-anticipated Tier 8 Premium German Heavy Cruiser, their shill, has appeared in the armory. But you can't buy it outright. Like many a new premium ship, which this is becoming unfortunately more and more of a trend now, they don't just get released anymore, they get put in some type of cockamamie, either random bundle or sequential bundle that you have to buy your way through in order to get them, unless you want to wait a couple of months for them to be released normally. Which, um, yeah, that by itself is pretty bad enough that these premium ships that you have to pay cash for are being stuffed in these, you know, essentially pseudo early access events. Because yes, these ships that or in these events do come out normally it's again three or four months out for some reason well i can tell you why it's because wargaming is trying to lean into that you know that fomo that fear of missing out you know don't you want the shield now don't you want the new shiny premium ship now and not three or four months from now when you can buy it at a normal reasonable price that's one part of it and the other part of it is oh i can potentially get this ship for a relatively low cost and that's not technically untrue but don't fall for that. So what's going on in this event? Glad you asked. So, in the armory, if you go to the featured tab, you will see that the Shills sequential bundle event is up. Now, it's pretty interesting what they do here. And truth be told, if the containers were a bit better, it wouldn't be an actual terrible deal for about the first half of the sequential bundle, in my opinion. But... It's not. So, in the sequential bundle, you have to buy through nine stages in order to get the shill for the whopping price of one credit. Now, again, if that's, you know, just what you look at, oh yeah, that looks like a great deal. Until you see, of course, the cost of all, all the bundles. If you want all the bundles in order to get the shill, it's 23,000 doubloons and change and one credit. So to buy your way through the bundles to the 8th bundles, 23,000 dubs, and then again the shill is 1 credit. So, that's just under $100 for a tier 8 premium ship. Keep in mind, keep in mind, keep in mind that tier 8 premium ships are usually around the 48 to 52 US dollar range. So, this is literally double double the amount that you normally pay for a tier 8 premium ship just because it's in the sequential bundle. Now, Sea Lord, of course, but you get all the containers that you have to buy through in the process, right? Yes, you do. That is true. Thank you, um, narrator. So, <laughs> as you go through the bundles, they start out with uh, one container for... 75 dubs which is a pretty good deal right you know one premium container because these are german cruiser premium containers sounds pretty good until you look at what's in the container so the containers themselves have three slots in them the first slot you get a black white red expendable camo which actually looks pretty good i like the black white red camos then in the second slot you have a 2.5 percent chance of getting the shield and from there, you get a 5% chance of getting 5,000 coal, 5% chance of 3 days of Warships Premium Time, a 9% chance for the India Yankee, Juliet Charlie, November Foxtrot, November Echo, um, 77 signals. 50 of those, which, yeah, that's a fair amount of signals. And then a 10% chance of getting one of the blue economic boosters. And in case you 
want some clarification there. That's all in the second slot. So you're getting one of those items in this container. And then the third slot another black white red expendable camouflage so you are going to get six of these black white red camos per container and then one of those items in the middle now again for a container that costs 75 doubloons that's not really that bad of a deal and yes you could get exceptionally l lucky and you could get the shill on your first container for 75 doubloons however given the odds that's probably not gonna happen now, if you are one of those players that do get the shill on the first container, I am super happy for you. That's a great deal. But then as you go up, the price starts to increase. Now, so does the number of containers that you can get. For example, the second uh, set of containers is two containers for 300 dubs, still a good deal. Then three containers for 1,125 dubs, still a good deal in my opinion. And then five containers for 2,625 dubs. So... Yeah, essentially each stage of the event, you know, you get that many containers. Like the eighth stage, you get, um, sorry, the the, the uh, eighth stage, you get not nine containers. Seventh stage, uh, eight. Sixth stage, seven. Uh, fifth stage, five. And then fourth stage, um, five. I'm oh, sorry, sixth stage, you get um, six. No, I'm sorry, the seventh stage. Wow, I cannot count today, fellas. But anyway, you, get, you guys get, get the idea. You should get one more container as you go up through the... Uh, event and then the price also goes up so by the end of it all again you're gonna be spending 23,000 doubloons to get the shield so man again if the containers just weren't so garbage it actually wouldn't be that bad like maybe if you have the shield the coal and the signal flags in the second slot and then you had the um economic boosters in the third slot to where you were getting you know either coal premium time or the signal flags on top of the blue economic bonuses that would actually be pretty solid in my opinion in a pretty good deal and something that you could you know reasonably say yeah i'm, I'm going to drop 50 bucks on this because yeah i may not get the cruiser but i'm going to stack up on premium time i'm going to stack up on my signal flags i'm going to stack up on the blue economic bonuses which are the good bonuses mind you so if it was that yeah sure fine but it's not it's two things of camo and a very small chance of getting the ship and you're probably going to wind up with signal flags or bonuses right um and keep in mind the camos are pretty much worthless yes you can sell them you can turn around and sell them for credits but then at that point, it's like, if you want credits and you're willing to spend doubloons, just convert the doubloons to credits, right? Now, the shill itself, it's one of the, again, the, the more anticipated ships, right? So keep this in mind, too. It's a P-Class cruiser. Uh, one of the cruisers that many a player have been waiting for quite some time to see in the game. It's essentially, from what I've read, I haven't watched any reviews on it, because I do intend to get it one way or the other and do my own review on it, so I don't I don't go look at other reviews, so I don't sway my own opinion on the ship. But from what the description says in-game, it's essentially, you know, a, a bigger Grafspie that can actually hit what it's aiming at, right? So it's, it's, it's a Spie at Tier 8, with basically good armor for a cruiser with the 283s that can actually hit stuff. Uh, Grashby at tier 6, her, two, her, her guns aren't really that accurate at all if you've ever played the Grashby. But this is essentially, you know, two tiers up and it can hit stuff. That's the tier, TLDR description of the shill. And again, this is a, a ship that was proposed that's pretty widely known by, of course, the players that play this game and, you know, naval warfare fan. Well... 20th century, mid 20th century naval warfare fans or anyone that, you know, got home from school and watched the History Channel from around 3 p.m. to around 6 p.m. U.S. Central Time like I did, right? So th this is a ship that's known, that's highly anticipated, that Wargaming knows players want to buy. But just putting it on sale already for 50 bucks, the cost of, very near the cost of most AAA games today, isn't enough for Wargaming. They have to go and shove it in a sequential bundle event like this, where again, unless you're lucky, you're probably gonna wind up dumping a hundred bucks to get a ship that's worth fifty dollars that again may not even be that great. Again, I don't I don't know if the ship's good or not because I haven't played it and I'm not a CC, so I don't get it for free, so I don't get early access to it in you know, 
So I, I don't know. I can't tell you that. But I can tell you, regardless of how good the ship is, it's not worth double the normal price, fellas. I mean, yeah, again, if you get it in the first container or the first, like, four sets of containers, I'm happy for you. That's a pretty good deal, honestly. But my advice, again, if you want the ship, just wait the time for it to come out. It's a digital item. It's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't have a shelf life. Um, if they keep their word, this ship will be coming out in the armory or in the premium shop for the normal cost of whatever they're going to set it for, which is probably going to be 50, 51, 52 US dollars. That's what most tier 8 ships are going for nowadays. So just wait. Don't worry about throwing your money away. It, if you go in with the attitude of, hey, I want some more signal flags or I want some more blue bonuses, again, for that stuff, it's a, you know, it's okay for that. If you just want to stack up on the blue bonuses or the signal flags, or you want to maybe get some premium time or some coal, that's one thing, right? If you're going at it from that from that perspective of, I just want to stock up on that stuff. Um, but if you want to get the shield, I, I, th this is not the way to do it, fellas. So wait for it to come out for the normal price. Don't give in to this event and then wind up spending double the cost of a tier 8 premium ship for a digital item that, again, one day is going to disappear whenever these servers get unplugged. When will that day be? Who knows? But again, not worth it in my opinion, guys. Just you know, just wait a couple of months for it to come out normally. So guys, let me know what you guys think about this event in the comments down below. And if you have partaken in it, have you gotten lucky or did you have to go all the way through? I'm very curious to hear uh, how that is going to go. So guys, hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, wonderful rest of your week. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. One way to 75,000 subscribers, which I cannot thank you guys enough for that. That's crazy thinking about that now. But anyway, guys, again, hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.